Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing La Havre. And this is the new 2017 edition by Mayfair Games. There isn't really many differences, some of the art's been redone, and it includes the expansion, the little card expansion that came out for La Havre, and any bonus cards that ever came with it. It's basically everything for La Havre, so uh, if, uh, if you haven't got it, then this is the perfect way to start now. I'm going to be playing a solo game today. Not really a lot changes in the solo rules, so you'd get an idea of the normal game either way. There'd just be another person, and you can use each other's buildings and things in the normal game. So La Havre is all about getting goods, converting goods, and trying to make money from them. That's basically it. We build buildings as well. You know, you might be familiar with this in other Uwe Rosenberg games, but this is our ship, and it starts here at the start of the game. These are always shuffled up and are randomized, and we will basically take turns, and there will be seven rounds. We get seven turns in a round in a solo game because there's uh, nobody else here to get in the way. So the first thing you have to do on your turn, everybody always has to do this, is the supply phase. Place your ship marker on the next supply phase, place the two different goods shown on the appropriate offer spaces. So all that means for me is I basically move forward. In the first round you'll reveal these, but they'll stay here for the rest of the game. I revealed wood and cattle. We always have these starting goods here, two, 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 one. But we now add a wood and a cattle because it told us to. So there's now one cattle available. And now it's time for the main action, and I've got two options here. I can either choose to take all the goods or francs from one offer space. These are all the offer spaces. So I could take the cattle, but it would be my whole turn. Your other choice is to move your person to a new building, maybe to build new buildings. It, the buildings you can go to are your own, you start the game with none, or ones owned by the town and you can go to these three. They basically just build a building or build two buildings. You can also obviously use other people's buildings, but in the solo game, it's just us. So uh, we are either going to be getting some resources. We're probably going to be doing that, right? Because we can't build a building without resources. Uh, or we will go to one of these places and build a building. And these are the same. They let you build one building. This one, you have to pay two food, but it'll let you build two buildings if you want to. As well as what we're going to be doing on our turns, at any time you can do these additional actions. You can buy buildings and ships. Ships will come out later, but these buildings all have a value. And unless it says otherwise, it costs this much to buy the, sh the buildings. And the reason to do this in the solo game would be to never have to pay the food again. Uh, points are money in this game, so effectively you're spending eight points to get an eight point building, but you're never going to have to give up that food again if you do buy it. Similarly, for the buildings up here that are on display, and these have just been knocked by Marty as he walked past, but uh, these are all fanned out to see what, so we can see what's coming, what's in each stack. They'll be the same every game, but they are all shuffled together and then put in three stacks and then ordered based on sort numbers. So this is what we've got available to build at the start of the game. The fishery would basically get us fish, and if we, the more of these symbols we get, the more, the more fish it'll give us. The marketplace lets us take two different standard goods, and standard goods are all of these ones over here, and you get more goods the more of this symbol you collect. And you can look at the two special buildings that are coming up. They're going to come out later in the game, and that will let us take a peek and maybe give us a strategy. And finally, the abattoir, where we can take as many cattle as we want, and they will be turned into meat, and half that amount will be turned into hides. Now, I like the look of the marketplace, and so I am going to use my first turn to grab some wood. So that's it. That's the whole turn. I move on to the next place, and I'm going to add a wood and a clay to their spaces. So if I go there, I'm going to get that amount. And for my main action, I'm not going to take any goods. I am going to place my worker somewhere new. And so I'm going to go to the building firm because it's free to go there and build one building. I'm going to spend two wood and put it back there to build this marketplace. And the, the all the numbers on it, this is what it costs to build. This is the fee. Basically, if the town or another player owned it, I would have to pay this to be able to use the building. And this is the sort number. This is how they arrived in those columns. So I've now got the marketplace. That's six points for me. Again, that's my whole turn. So I am going to... Go to the next one, wood and a franc. So there's now three available there. So when I built the marketplace, I revealed the clay mound, which is special because it can't be built. It can only be bought. And it's two money. We start the game with five. So I think I'm going to build that too. So I've earned no points doing that. But now I've got a good way of getting clay, which will get more powerful if I get some of these symbols. And currently, there's no, the ones on display are the building cards, so that is a reason you might want to buy the cheap building card in the solo game. So buying isn't an action, 
I think for my action, I'm gonna move my worker onto the clay mound and grab three clay. Next turn, flip that up and go to iron. And I'll put that out and another franc on there. So there's four francs if I chose to spend my turn there. I think for this action, I wanna go back to building and I'll spend the last wood I have and one of the clay that I just picked up. And I'm gonna get this fishery because fish are food. They are the only basic good that counts as food. And at the end of the round, we need to feed our people. This is a Uwe Rosenberg game. We need to feed five food to our people and the fish will provide three of it. Next turn, flip that over and we get a grain and a fish. It's nice that I uncovered that bakehouse that will turn grain into bread, which is food and it's better food than, uh, than fish. It's two for every bread that you've got. But even though I've got the clay, I can't use the same building twice in a row. So I would have to pay food basically to be able to use it again. It means I need to do something different this round. So let's just go and grab some fish. I get three fish plus one for every one of that symbol that I've got. So I get four fish. New turn, flip this over again. There's another fish available and some clay. So I've got four of the five food I'm gonna need for the end of the round. So maybe it would be worth picking another up with some other things. I could get three fish, four fish by going to this space. I think I'm gonna go for it and build the bakehouse this turn. So that comes down here. It costs me two clay and I can turn gray into bread if I pay some energy as well while I'm at it. And we move to the last one. So there's going to be a fish and a wood. It's quite tempting now, five fish if I go there, and that's the fish that I need. So I think the plan was to use this marketplace so I could take a look at the special buildings and work out a plan, but uh, it's no point now because it's gonna come out in a minute. So I'll have no time to execute that plan. I think I am gonna use the marketplace though, because I basically, I need one fish. So I can take three goods, take two different standard goods and an additional different good for every one of them. Oh, that's got that symbol. So that's four different goods. Oh, and here is a little thing I should mention. I don't think it's in the rules. I think it, I just saw it on the Board Game Geek forums that for the solo mode, it's suggested that you make, make sure that you can't get more than four goods at a time from the marketplace. Because you can see I can get loads more houses here and then it will just generate one of everything every time I ac activate it. So that's one of the suggestions to limit that to four, which is what I'm getting now. So I'm gonna get a fish so that I have all of the food that I need because that's five then. I'm gonna get a grain because we have a harvest at the end of most rounds. I think it's part from the last round. We have a harvest and the harvest means if you have a grain, get another. If you have two cattle, get another. So I've got the grain for that now. Iron doesn't come out very often at all and we need it to build the wharf which will let us build ships which provide food automatically for us. So I think I'm gonna get some iron on the way to that. And since heating may be an issue in the future, I'm gonna grab some coal as well because they're three energy each. So to use something like the bakehouse, it's good to have some on hand. We could do you know six grain at once with that. So now it's the end of the round. So we have the harvest, I have a grain, so I take another one from the supply. I don't have any cattle though, but only one comes out per round. I could have chose cattle with that. Maybe, maybe I should have, because then I wouldn't actually have to spend an action. I could just use the marketplace again next time. Yeah, let's change our minds from coal to cattle. And so we've done that. This tells us, we just look at the one player section. It tells us it's the first round. We need to feed our people with five food. One, two, three, four, five, just enough. And this symbol means the town is going to build a building. Oh, I should have looked at these. I can look at the top two. So we're gonna see the fish market's about to be built next. So the fish market, which we might as well put out because the town is about to build it. The fish market is going to let you sell up to seven fish for two each. So if I can get loads of that symbol and keep getting loads of fish, that would be great. This one that's gonna be built next and we can see they're gonna build it in round three, is the cattle market, which lets you buy a cattle one at a time up to seven times for one money, or 
sell one for three money up to seven times. That is really nice. I should mention that I've just shuffled all of the special buildings together. And if you ever see any like that, um, the cattle market, it's orange because it just means that it comes from the expansion. So now the harvest card gets flipped and it's now a ship, a wooden ship, which once we've built a wharf, we can go there to build this ship and it costs five wood and three energy to make it. If I want to buy it with money, it costs 14, but every round it will provide four food automatically, which, you know, is, uh, is really important. Because now in round two, we need 10 food. So we go back to the start and a wood and a cattle come out. Now I'd like to use the marketplace to get the iron I need to make the wharf. So I think I am going to go to the fishery because I'm probably going to need fish. So let's just go over there and that gets us off the marketplace. Next round we put a wood and a clay out which makes these spaces a lot more attractive to go to. There's a lot of wood building up and another one's going out next round so I'll probably get it then. Uh, I probably won't wait until the very end because then I wouldn't be able to do an action with it. This time I think we're going to go to the marketplace and I get to take four goods again. So I am going to take a cattle because that just gives me my second one and they will start breeding now. I will grab an iron because that's what it was all about. I will grab a grain because we want to build up a lot so we can use this bakehouse. Let's get a coal because I was right about needing a, a source of heat uh, just in case. Next we put out a wood and a frank. So five for going there now. And let's collect all of the wood that's here. Make sure that it's uh, not on the charcoal side. Moving on, we get iron and a frank. And I think I'll just go to the clay man to get clay because that can just build up and be a super thing when it finally pays off. Again, we put out a fish and a grain. So a lot of fish as well. It's probably better to go there than my fishery. Or oh, this is a great way to build up a load of fish to sell for a load of money. Actually, if I got that, to, um, this this would have been something to think about, wouldn't it? If I get another money, I can use the I can buy the fish market. Then I wouldn't have to pay the thing. I'd have an extra symbol for the the fishery as well. So now I think we are going to build a building. So we'll come over to the building firm and we will build the wharf, which is two wood, two clay and two iron for this next round. So get a fish and oh, not, I don't get it. The board gets a fish and a clay. So I think we're going to go back to the marketplace and get some goods. So if we get a ship, that's going to provide, oh, it provides five. I think I was looking at the two players still, too used to it. That provides five, and I think we, have we got five fish now? One, two, three, four fish. So one more fish from this marketplace sorts us out. We need a wood, don't we, because we're short to be able to build the ship. We might as well get a grain and the cattle, I think, as well. Try and build these up for when they get used. So we're sorted for food. Final turn, wood and fish. And I'm going to go to the wharf and pay the five wood and three energy with a coal. And now I have this wooden ship that's gonna provide me five food. And also it will let me use the shipping line, which we'll see later on. I can take this little icon now to remember that I've got five food paid for me. And it's the end of the round, so New grain because of the harvest and a new cattle. Then I need to pay 10 food, five from the ship and then five from the fish. And the town is going to build the lowest numbered building, which is the charcoal kiln, which is nice because it turns wood, which is with one energy each to charcoal, which is three. This becomes another wooden ship and it's the exact same thing. It's worth more points. The first one was only worth two points. This one's worth four now. But we might need it because now we need 15 food. Okay, new round. I get a wood and a cattle. All well, the board does. I think for this first turn, let's grab these cattle. Because it's just come out for this round. There's not going to be another one. So let's place it there. We'll keep two aside and I think we might use the abattoir. We might try and get it. So the next 
round we get a wood and a clay. So to build the avatar, we are short a wood and an iron. So I think I'm going to go to the marketplace to grab that. So I need wood, iron. I might as well grab another cattle because that's what it's all about, right? And a grain because if I wanted fish, I've got the fishery and I've got the fish off a pile is building up. You know, there's, there's a lot there. Next turn, and it's a wood and a frank. And it's probably worth taking these franks after the next turn because there's a lot building up and I could buy some buildings. I think since we're good at getting fish and this has another symbol on it, the smokehouse is one to get. So for that, I'm gonna need two wood and four clay. So I think I've just noticed the smokehouse has come out, which is fish, turns fish into smoked fish, which is worth double the food. I'm good at getting fish. That would let me get more fish. And then when the food is sorted later in the game, I can sell, sell all the fish that I'm getting at the fish market. So I think that's a good idea. So more wood's about to come out. So let's take the clay this turn. Next turn, wood and a frank comes out. And we're gonna take the wood. Next turn, iron and another frank. I think no more are gonna come out this round. We're going to grab all of these franks, I think. Next is a fish and a grain. Now let's build that smokehouse. So that comes down here. Two wood and four clay. I think since we've got all of this money, let's spend four of it to grab this fish market. And then we're not gonna to have to pay the, the food and we have that symbol to help with the fishery, which is becoming quite strong now. Next turn, fish and clay go out. Look at that lovely pile of fish there. I think for this turn, we're gonna take from the fish offer because there's just so many there. And then in the last turn, wood goes out, fish goes out. I am going to go to the smokehouse. This does mean I'm not building a ship, so most of these fish are gonna go on food. But I need to pay one energy, which is wood. Wood has the little light bulb there. And then six of these, four, six, get turned into smoked fish. And I get half a money for each, which is three. Now we have harvest, so I get a grain and a cattle. And then 15 food, so five from my ship. And then I need five of those smoked fish because it's two each. Then they're gonna build a special building. I wonder what it's gonna be. It's the cattle market we saw. So this is basically just a great way of generating money. Go there, pay seven money and get the cattle. Go somewhere else, come back, sell it all for three each. This turns into an iron ship. This is gonna cost four iron and three energy. But to be able to build one of those, the first person to build a non-wooden ship has to modernize the wharf using bricks and we don't make bricks yet. So first turn, that's a wood and a cattle to go out. I think I've got a lot of money. I've got 10 money here. I'm going to buy the cattle market because I also have a lot of cattle. I think the action is going to be to go to the marketplace. I'm going to get cattle because then I've got seven spare cattle keeping the two so they'll keep breeding in the harvest. A grain, I think, because then we can just do a massive turn on this bakehouse when we really need food. We'll need some energy. Okay, having said that, I'll get some more coal then. And then I think we'll get some iron. I think we're going to have to get that avatar built and get to the brickworks. Next, some wood and clay. Okay, let's build the avatar. So that is one wood, one clay, one iron. And I can also, if I didn't want to sell them, I can make a lot of food. It's three food each for meat. And I get hides as well, which can be turned into leather, which can be sold for a lot. Next turn, wood comes out and a frank. I think we're gonna grab some wood because I have a feeling we need a ship. Next turn, iron and a frank. And let's go to the wharf. We have five wood, three energy from the coal. So we've got 10 more food now. <laughs> I flipped it over. Well, not 10 more, we've got 10 food in total now. We still have to provide 10 more though. And this is round four of seven. Where's, the, where's all of our points coming? Next turn, we'll get a fish and a grain. 
we may be able to just buy the brickworks. So if we come here and sell all of that cattle, that gets us 21. And rather than waiting, I could just spend 14 of it. I'm not really losing anything because I'm getting a 14 point building. And I can just grab the brickworks now and not have to wait. I still have some money to hopefully reinvest back into the cattle market as well. Next turn, we do fish and clay. So I kind of, it's not as effective and I haven't got any energy to go to the smokehouse or the bakehouse actually. Oh, I've got coal. So if, I, if I'm spending three coal, the smokehouse isn't really efficient and I want to go to the bakehouse. Because I could do six grain with that coal. Yeah, let's come to the bakehouse and we will turn six of this into bread by using up the coal. And we get three money for that. Then the last thing is wood and fish. And so I think I'm going to go to the cattle market and spend seven to get seven cattle back. Okay, end of the round, we get a grain and a cattle. We need to pay 20 food, so 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So we've still got to, uh, some spare, which is nice, but all of that is spent. And it's probably good to not be smoking the fish because uh, we can sell them, remember? Not as good as cattle, but it's still quite nice. And they're going to build a building. The town is going to build the colliery. That's another iron ship. And we need 25 food next round. So the first turn, wood and cattle go out. Now I think it may be worth just buying this building firm for four, just so we've got that symbol and then go to the clay mound and we'll now get four instead of just three. So it's just a bit more effective and all we've lost is the flexibility of having money. We get a wood and a clay out here. Then I think let's, we could go to the colliery and pay two food and then we would get four coal. So I was thinking otherwise we just go to the marketplace and we can pick up some varied stuff. So we're going to need two wood if we want to build that. We could, if we could get five wood though, we could get those things, but we then, yeah, then we need a, we need a lot for a ship really to get ready for that. Or what we can always do, so we waste nothing. It feels a little cheap doing this actually, but uh, sell those seven cattle again, get 21 money. As long as we save seven, you know, to reinvest. New turn, wood and a franc. Because we could just buy the shipping line that we're... We haven't got bricks, but we could just buy the shipping line and then start making money from that. I think let's just grab the ironworks. 12 money. Let's just buy that. And now we can get iron. We haven't really got that energy to spend on the extra one. But it's another symbol as well for the clay mound. Yeah, and that clay wasn't as useful. I was building up for bricks, but I probably didn't need to bother. We do need bricks though if we ever want to make more ships, which I think we're going to need to unless we want to starve. So I haven't got the money to buy. Yeah, I could just buy ships. They cost 20 for an iron ship and then we don't have to bother with any of this. But I think let's just make some bricks. Oh, we need some fuel. So let's come to the colliery. Let's just pay. We might have to think about doing something about food. Okay, we pay to use the colliery and we get four coal. Then we go to iron and a money. And we're going to go to the brickworks and use three, three energy from a coal to do one, two, three, four, five, six clay into bricks. And I also get three money for that. So fish and grain go out. So now I need to go to the ironworks. I'm going to pay the extra for the fourth iron because then I can just build the ship, which is probably why it's there. You round fish and a clay. I have to think if I'm going to keep doing the cattle market trick, I have to think about food here. So I've only got two, three, 
four, five, six food. If I buy the ship, it's going to give me 17. So I'm going to be too short. So I would have to pay in money, but I would have to waste the fish. Which seems a shame without um, being able to take advantage of uh, like cooking them and making them worth double. Just if we do that, we're not going to be able to build a ship and go to the cattle market. I think we'll just take a hit for now. Oh, we might have to take a loan. Oh, we won't have to take a loan. We've got loads of money. So let's build the ship. We need to put the brick there to modernize the wharf. And I've got four iron and a coal. This is what we need for this iron ship. Ten points. Seven more food. And we get wood and fish. And I'm going to go to the cattle market. I don't know if this works out well because we'll have to take a we'll we'll have to pay real money and lose out on this fish. But we'll, I don't know. Uh, grain and a cattle. Then 25 food, so I need to provide eight. I've got two, three, four, five, six. So I need to pay two money. Money can always be used as food, but food can't be used as money. And then they're going to build a special building, which I'm sure I should have looked at. Tobacco factory. The owner of the tobacco factory can remove other players from her buildings during her turn. Well, that's a bad one to come out during solo play. <laughs> and now we've got a steel ship. So you'd have to be able to turn the iron into steel there at the mill. First turn. Wood and cattle. And... So we're going to eat 30 food, so we probably need to buy, probably need to do that, that sequence of stuff again. I think I'm going to get iron this turn, and we're going to really try and go for those steel works. Wood and clay goes out. I'm going to go to the iron works and grab three more iron. Wood and a money. I think I'm going to take all of this wood now, because we're not going to get any more till the very last uh, space there. Next space is iron and a money. Probably could have waited for the iron because we haven't done anything with it yet. This turn, I think I'm going to go to the charcoal kiln, which has got no fee to pay. And I'm going to save two of my wood in case I want to build the shipping line, but I'm going to turn the rest into charcoal, which is basically as good as coal for energy. I've got a fish and a grain. We can go to build a building and we will build the steel mill, which is four of the bricks and two iron fish and a clay comes out i don't want to lose out on the cattle market so i'm going to use that then a wood and a fish comes out and i'm going to go to the wharf and spend two iron a uh, four iron what am i talking about four iron and a charcoal to build this iron ship, which means we're still going to be paying some money. We're going to be paying three money out, but I think we're making enough profit for it to be okay. Because now we make 24. Yeah, that's quite short, isn't it? So get a grain and a cattle. So we're almost getting to the point where we don't even need to buy one. And then 30 foods, so I need to pay six money, which isn't great, is it? I didn't get anything. That was badly planned. And then ooh, the, bit, the shipping line gets built by the town. This is where we can sell various goods. If I had it, it would help with my fishing as well. But I think we might be past that point. And then the, the steel ship comes out there. For the very last round, we'll have a luxury liner, which is worth a ton of points. And we come back over here. Wood and cattle. So I basically want to make it so that I've got three steel and three energy so we i can build that with my last turn because we get one last action at the very very end of the game it's a real shame that the cokery down there the, turns coal into coke which is 10 energy each it's right at the bottom there maybe we should have just concentrated on that we spent 30 how much have i got here i've got 19. i can sell buildings but only for half of their value we could just go and build the tannery with the first action. We have a wood, we have a brick, we don't need to build the shipping line anymore. We don't have the bricks to make the cokery, but we do have the money. Wood and clay go out. 
I think let's go to the bakehouse so we can get some food to pay for the colliery. So one, two, three, four, five. That's unfortunate. So we'll pay three and just have to waste one and we only get two food, uh, two money out. I mean, we get two money though. Next, wood and money. And if it's money we're after, there is quite a large pile developing here. Seven. We're gonna go to the colliery and pay two food. And that gives us four coal, iron and a money. I think let's just spend 18 money, grab the cokery right now and go there this turn. So I can do this with all of the coal that I've got. I think it should be enough. Turns it all into coke and gives me one, two, three, four money. This does mean now actually that, okay, fish comes out there, grain comes out there. We could potentially go to the cattle market twice, could we? Or we could just go once and just sell the five we've got and be happy. Yeah, I think we'll probably do that. We won't buy more. I don't think we're going to have chance at all, actually. I think we've run out of time. Because basically we need iron, so we'll have enough. So I get three iron that way. Next, fish and clay goes out. Oh, I've run out of time. I think I've wasted a turn somewhere <laughs> doing something silly. And then we need to go to the steel mill, turn all of this into steel. And for each iron, pay five energy. So it's 25 we need to pay. We'll just pay three of these cokes. And wood and fish. We go to the wharf and we make this steel ship, which is two steel bars and three energy. Oh, charcoal, not the wood. That's another 10. So what are we on? 34 out of 35. That's not bad. So, unless we want to buy anything else, I don't think there's much point. We can't really do anything with it. We're just going to go. Oh no, I've messed this right up. Because I'm on the wharf on the last turn, it means I can't go to the wharf with the extraction. You have to move somewhere else. <laughs> what a fool. So I basically need to pay a gold. There's no harvest in the last round. I need to pay a franc. And then my last action, probably the most efficient thing to do is to sell the cattle. Oh, what a waste of a last round. <laughs> I feel so stupid. Uh, yeah, that will get me 15. I think that's my best bet, right? because I can't go to the wharf, because I think, oh, I could build a steel ship, because here we are, here's the luxury line of 30 points. So we've halved the points we were gonna get. I can get 15 from the cattle, but we were going to get 30. We we're gonna have a luxury liner. So that's the one final turn that we can count up our score now. So let's see, we have 18, 22, 32, 34, 40, 48, 58, 62, 66, 74, 96, 108, 120, 124, 138, 146, 156, <laughs> 161, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 167. From what I saw in the forums, that is awful. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you can see where I went wrong there, but I was kind of, I was planning for something that really never happened, did it? <laughs> I think I made a lot of plans that ended up going nowhere from uh, getting distracted. But uh, yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea of how the game plays anyway. Not how to play at all, it seems, because you can get scores much, 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 much higher than this. Uh, but uh, that is La Havre anyway, the solo version. But if you'd like to know what I think, you can click the link on the screen there. But thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.